Now, from your local election headquarters, this is a special edition of News 8. Good evening, everyone. News 8 is your local election headquarters. Thank you so much for trusting us tonight. Well, polls have closed and the results are pouring in as we speak. We have been tracking key races in our area and we're going to begin with the race for Monroe County Executive. The incumbent Democrat Adam Bello has successfully defeated his Republican challenger Mark Assini. Bello receiving 60% of the vote against Assini who received 40% of the vote. That's with 93% of the votes in at this hour. That allows Bello to return for a second term as county executive. And with that, we're going to toss things over to Natalie Kutchko. She joins us live from the Democratic headquarters in downtown Rochester. Natalie, it looks like another healthy night for Monroe County Democrats. How is it over there? Hey, Adam, Teresa, as you could probably hear behind me. The energy here is palpable, very upbeat with this announcement. A big win for Democratic incumbent Adam Bellow on his way to a second term, four years as a county executive. Important to note here, and he is about to take the stage as we speak. So let's hear from him right now. Yep, you stay right here. Well, in, everybody. Hey guys. <laughs> All right, we did it. Thank you. Come on, everybody. Let's hear it for the Democratic Party in Monroe County tonight. Everybody slide on over. Slide on over. Slide on over. All right, four years ago, it was just four years ago. I ran for office with the promise that I would bring new ideas, new energy, and new leadership to county government. And I want to tell you, I'll take you back four years. When I started as county executive, most people didn't know what county government even did because they didn't know what it could do. And if there's one thing that I'm proud about what this team has accomplished over the last four years is that we've changed that. And I want to thank every single one of the people in this room because together we made history for the first time in Monroe County's history, we have re-elected a Democrat to the office of the county executive. We also have some other important news to make tonight because for the first time in a long time, we elected a majority of Democrats to the Monroe County Legislature. When I think back to my days, when I think back to my days working as executive director of the party, we dreamed of a night like this. Back then, every countywide office was held uh, by the Republicans, and we were a far cry away from a majority in the legislature. With years and years of hard work and support, we changed that, and it's a new day in Monroe County. I am really just incredibly proud of the team that we put together. There's countless hours from dedicated people knocking on doors, calling voters, making contributions to get our message out there and talk about the accomplishments that we've made over the last four years, how we're impacting this community. And I want to tell you, campaigns are a lot of work, and most of the people in this room know that. You sacrifice a lot of time. It's time away from your family, from your loved ones. And it's, uh, in general, you really have no free time, right? <laughs> but I want to thank all the candidates. I want to thank all their families who made this sacrifice. If you've ever run for office, you raise your hands. I want everybody who's run for office in this room, raise your hands. And I want to make some noise for all of you. I want to hear from all the candidates who've ever run for office. Because that's a lot of hard work that goes into these jobs, and I'm super proud of every single one of you. And I, you know, we called our campaign Team Bellow because we knew from the beginning that this was not the work of just one person. This wasn't just about me. We're going to need the support of a lot of people. And you've been listening to County Executive Adam Bellow, who was just 
talking and giving his victory speech speech. He told the crowd there gathered at the Democratic headquarters that we did it. He reviewed some of his accomplishments over the fourth four years that he's been in office and talked about being the first time in history reelecting a Democrat. He also spoke about the majority gaining um, the, in the legislature, the majority of Democrats gaining in the county legislature. Now we're going to go to the GOP headquarters. Isabel Garcia is joining us live with more from Bellows challenger Mark Assini and his team. Isabel. Yes, good evening to you, Teresa. Crowds just started forming here in the ballroom here at the Doubletree Hotel in Henrietta, where GOP headquarters are stationed. We just heard some of the speeches from uh, several of the uncontested candidates, including District Attorney Sandra Dorley, and she uh, had mentioned that she still believes in the Republican Party. Uh, there's definitely an energy in the room knowing Assini uh, was most likely not going to come out uh, on top here, uh, given the numbers as of late. Uh, Assini had been heavily campaigning throughout uh, his campaign on the issue of crime in Monroe County, telling us earlier in the day the first thing he would have done had he been elected into office was to, what he says, fix the broken laws when it comes to crime. He also served previously as the town of Gates supervisor and then had gone into the private sector, also saying that he was going to retire, but he, with the support of his wife, decided that he wanted to take this on and go out and put his name out there on the campaign trail because he felt compelled to do so. Now, we do see Marcusini in the corner. He's appearing to approach the riser, so we're expecting a speech from him shortly. Uh, we will, of course, continue to check in with you uh, as the night progresses here, but for now, we will send things right back to you at the station. Reporting live in Henrietta, Isabel Garcia, News 8. All right, Isabel, thank you so much. We're going to hop over now to some town supervisor races that we have been paying attention to. First, we want to take you to Arondequoit, a significant result there. The Democrat in the race, the challenger, Andre Evans, has won this race, defeating the Republican incumbent, Rory Fitzpatrick. Taking a look at the numbers now, 100% of the districts have reported, and he has won 52% to 48%. Also, two new candidates ran over in Penfield for town supervisor. That's Maurice Sinti, who resigned in February. Tiffany Rice, a Democrat, faced off against Republican challenger Jeff Leanhouts. The numbers there, 89% in right now. Tiffany Rice down 49% to Jeff Leanhouts, 51%. But 11% still waiting for that, so we aren't calling it. Finally, the race for Webster Town Supervisor, the Republican incumbent, Tom Flaherty, wins that seat against Daniel Palermo Jimenez, a Democrat. The numbers here, he wins fairly handily, 60% to 40%. There was, of course, a lot of races tonight around Monroe County and our area, many of them uncontested. We have a comprehensive list of all the races and their results on our website right now. That's rochesterfirst.com.